Here let us see a question from the topic arithmetic progression. Here question is if a square b square c square are in AP then show that 1 upon b plus c, 1 upon c plus a and 1 upon a plus b are in AP. In the previous videos we have already discussed that in such type of problems if uh, any constant number will be added to these given numbers the resulting numbers will also be in AP. Similarly, if any constant will be subtracted or any constant will be multiplied or divide these numbers, the resulting numbers will always remain in AP. Fine. Question is little bit tricky but simple question. So, let us see the solution. Given, here given that a square, B square, C square are in AP. Okay. So, now we are adding here adding AB plus BC plus CA in each, each number. Okay. In each given number. We can get this trick by little bit practice. Okay? So, some practice is also required in mathematics, you know it very well. So, therefore, we, therefore we will get that A square plus AB plus BC plus CA, B square plus AB plus BC plus CA and C square plus AB plus BC plus CA, these numbers are also in AP. Clearly, we have adding AB plus BC in these numbers. Okay. Now, let us simplify or from these two terms, we can take A common. So, here we are getting A plus B and in this, take, in this case, we can take C common. So, B plus A. Similarly, in other terms also, let us simplify. Here, we will take B common, B so, B plus A and here we will take C common. So, B plus A and here uh, we can take C common from these two terms, first and last term. Okay? So, when we will take C common, from here we will get C, here A and from these two middle terms, if we take B common, we will get here A plus C. So, these numbers are in a P. Fine. Now, let us just arrange it. We will get the result or here A plus B is common in both the terms. So, let us take A plus B common here. So, A plus B into A plus C or C plus A we can write. Similarly, here B plus A is common. So, B plus A or you can write A plus B here and here B plus C. Similarly, in this case, a plus C or C plus A is common in both the term. So, taking common C plus A from here. So, C plus B, these are in AP. Now, next step, you see the result what we have to bring here, we have what we have to prove 1 upon B plus C. So, we will divide every term, every number by A plus B b plus c, c plus a. Okay? So, now dividing by a plus b, b sorry not uh, comma will not be here, b plus c into c plus a. Okay? So, this is the number through which we will divide these numbers. So, we will get and uh, interestingly after divide, division or multiplication or addition number will remain in AP, you know very well. So, therefore, here A plus B and C plus A divided by A plus B, B plus C and C plus A. Similarly, in the second term here we have A plus B, B plus C divided by a plus B, B plus C, C plus A. Correct? And the last term is C plus A. 
we can write c plus b as b plus c also no problem and here we are writing a plus b b plus c into c plus a so by this property these numbers are also in ap correct now you see what we are getting we are getting the result here a plus b will be cancel out c plus a will be cancel out we are getting here 1 by b plus c similarly here a plus b will be cancel out as well as b plus c will be cancel out so we are getting 1 upon c plus a and the last term c plus a will be cancel out b plus c will be cancel out so we are getting 1 upon a plus b these are in ap proved very interesting but you have to understand what tricks we have to use where we have to use so you can uh, get the command after a little bit practice so hope you have understood it very well so enjoy the mathematical videos and remain in touch with my videos so we are doing very interesting and important questions from this topic and in other videos also we have to do a lot of problems.